Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will now start with the next phylum in animal kingdom that is cylindrate. Word cylindrata is the old name of this phylum. It is nowadays known as Nidaria. So whether we call it cylindrata or Nidaria, it's one and the same thing. One is a recent name, the other one is an older one that is cylindrata, but both are used commonly. Cylindrates are mostly marine except hydra. Except Hydra. Hydra is found in freshwater also. These cylindrates, they are diploblastic. That means the body develops from two germ layers. They are acelomates. There is no body cavity as such. That is the real cavity that we are talking of. But they do have a cavity which is known as cylindron. If we talk about Hydra, then there is a cavity here and this is the body which is normally attached to a substratum and this cavity is there. So this is called cylindron. Cylindron acts as a gastrovascular cavity. It allows the entry of food and everything. So this opening would act as the inlet point as well as outlet. So this acts as gastro vascular cavity. The food that they take is a complete food. So they are called holozoic and many of them are carnivores. So they are taking the complete food. Digestion is intra as well as extracellular. Now for elimination of the waste they have the body surface. <coughs> Sorry, the respiration and excretion that is elimination of the nitrogenous waste is through body surface and they are a monotelic that means the nitrogenous main nitrogenous waste is eliminated in the form of ammonia now before we take up the other uh, detailed structures we would talk about what is the body wall made up of so the body wall has two layers. The outer one is known as the epidermis and the inner one is called the gastrodermis. And in between there is a gelatinous material which makes the mesoglia. The outer one that is epidermis has some special cells. So here there are these special cells and these cells are known as the needoblast. These are needoblast. They are commonly known as stinging cells. Stinging cells. These cells are present on the outer layer that is on epidermis as well as on tentacles. So for example Hydra, here would be these tentacles and on these tentacles also there would be these needoblasts. So what exactly is the structure of this needoblast? It is an oval cell with cytoplasm, nucleus, everything. So here is what is visible as the nucleus. Now we will draw two cells so that we understand how the structure is. Now when this cell that is the needoblast is used as a stinging cell, there is a structure which is darted out that is known as the nematocyst. So what happens is a cone like structure is protruded and this extends into a long thread like structure and at the tip again there is this structure which is going to pierce in the body of the prey. So this structure can detach or it may remain attached to the cell. Suppose it gets detached then the cell is going to secrete the new one. 
Now this is what is the cell when it has darted that structure. But if the cell holds the structure inside, then how is it going to look? This cone which we have drawn is going to appear like this. And this thread-like structure which is there, this thread-like structure, I'm going to use a different color. So this is the thread. This thread-like structure is arising from here. And then it is wrapped around this cone-like structure. So when it is darted, what we have is this pointy structure which is thrown out. So the cell is known as the needoblast and the stinging structure, that means this structure that is, which we are talking of, is known as the nematocyst. These Stinging cells are present on the outer layer as well as on, uh, sorry, on the tentacles. They help in defense. Now, one more important thing about sealant rays is that they show two types of forms. So, and if they are in the form of colony, the members of colony are known as zooids. And these members, they can be of two types. One can be a polyp or the other one can be medusa. The polyps are sessile. That means they normally remain attached sedentary to one place. They are normally immobile but if required they can move. Example of this can be taken as hydra. So when we draw hydra, it is always drawn as if it is attached to the substratum. But if required, this hydra can move from its place. And locomotion is a feature, characteristic feature of animals. So this also shows locomotion, but if required. The second is the medusa type and these are free swimming. Free swimming. And the shape is umbrella like so here we can take the example of jellyfish that is Aurelia we will draw all the structures in detail when we take these examples so characteristic features they can be polyps or medusa depending upon which type we are talking of these are general characters the body wall has two layers only the outer one is with these special cells the stinging cells as well as on the tentacles. Now in case of Hydra, we have shown the tentacles here. But in case of other salient rays, the tentacles can be in different manner. The symmetry which is seen in case of salient rays can be radial or bilateral symmetry. So both types of symmetries are visible in this. Nervous system is diffused type. It is diffused type of nervous system. Reproduction. Reproduction can be asexual as well as sexual. Asexual reproduction is by exogenous budding. And sexual reproduction is by formation of gametes and the development can be direct or indirect. Direct means the young one is directly formed. There is no larval stage. Here the example is hydra and this is the only example where we find direct. Most of the cases it is indirect development that means there are some larval stages. And the most important larva is planula larva. But there are other larval stages also which we name. So these are some general characteristics of cylindrates. The most important feature is this stinging cell that is needoblast and the cavity which is called the cylindron. Now in the next part we will take some special examples of cylindrata and we'll try to see the special features of those members.